and via guide, invoice. Although the program does not require any complicated year-end rollover procedures, there are some steps you should follow to obtain the information you need for managing your business and completing your tax returns. Number one, ensure all invoices have been finalized and credit notes and receipts applied. Number two, check the aged receivable report for any clients who have credit balances and apply them to outstanding invoices. Credit balances appear under the client details. Number three, print the aged receivables report. By the way, when I say print, you can also save the reports as PDFs for saving electronically. Number four, print the sales tax closing balances report for the end of the year and choose the detailed option. Together, these will provide details of your accounts receivable with a breakdown of sales tax. Number five, ensure all suppliers' invoices, returns and payments are recorded. Number six, print the aged payables report. Number seven, if you're using the inventory tracking feature, click on the inventory tab. To conduct a stock take, Click on the Track Inventory button, click on Print, count the number of items in stock and record the amount on the Inventory Count Report. Record the actual number of items on the Inventory Count Report in the Count column of the Track Inventory screen. Please note, if you have processed any invoices or adjustment notes between the time the count was made and then recorded, you will need to make an adjustment for any items processed. Click on the Adjust Inventory button. Number nine, click on Reports and print the Inventory Valuation Report. This should be done on the 31st of March or before processing any transactions in the new financial year. 